Hey everybody, Todd here and I hope you're having a great week. If you've ever struggled getting awesome sound in OBS, this is what you've been waiting for. So let's get right to it. So whether you like to stream or record, really any kind of content creation, OBS Studio is one of the go-to tools and it really can help you get a lot done. But it's always been a bit weak on the audio side of things. You know, when we go into an audio source and we look at filters, we can choose a variety of expanders, various gain controls, limiters, etc. Even a new EQ and one of the latest versions of OBS. But they're really kind of weak options. You see I have all those things turned off and one option open here in the bottom called Studio Rack. So let's talk about that. Now a major weakness of OBS Studio has always been its inability to run modern VST3 audio plugins. Sure you have access to VST2, but that's obsolete and it really doesn't give you the best choices available. So today I'm going to show you how to set up a professional audio chain, whether you want to use it for vocals, music, game audio, the choice is yours and the sky is the limit. Now to make this happen, we're going to take advantage of a free download from Waves. It's called Studio Rack and it's an integration for OBS Studio that allows us to use not only Waves plugins, but plugins from any manufacturer. You see it's free. If you click on this icon, what will happen is you're going to get to a set of instructions here and it asks you to download Wave Central if you don't already have it. So you go ahead and click that, choose whether you have Windows or Mac and go ahead and get that installed. Now once Wave Central is installed, you want to go to the Install Products, All Products tab and then find Studio Rack. Select it on the side and go ahead and click to install. It's going to install and activate because it's free. Now once Studio Rack's installed, you can go ahead and shut down Wave Central and now we're going to take a look at OBS Studio. In OBS, you need to go to your audio source and choose filters. And again, as I showed earlier, I have a whole bunch in here turned off and Studio Rack on the bottom. But to add it, all you need to do actually is go in and here and choose Add and choose VST2 plugin. And you're going to name it whatever you like. I'll say Studio Rack 2 in this case because I have one already here. So I'm going to go OK. And then you simply choose it from the list. And depending how many plugins you have installed, you might have more or less here. Just keep scrolling down until you see Wave Studio Rack. We'll see it right here. Wave Studio Rack for OBS. Once it's there, you'll get the option to open the plugin interface. And so you just go ahead and bring that up right away and you'll see a few options. Now, since I already have it here, I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of this one. And I'm going to use the one that's existing so I can show you that. And let me just move some things out of the way here. Okay. And so this is Wave Studio Rack and you can see that it basically has a number of slots and just like OBS, we can add a different type of effect, if you will, to each one of these slots. Now these are VST3 plugins, so again the most modern technology. You also have an input gain, so you can give a little bit of boost or cut depending on how hot your microphone is coming into OBS. And it also gives you a chance to trim down the audio on, on the outward side too. But let's go ahead and look at this. I've set up a chain here with a few things. I have Clarity VX. I'll just move this to the side. This is a noise reduction plugin. So if you have fan noise, anything else in your room you want to get rid of, this is a great way to do it. After that, I've added the brand new Clarity VX D Reverb. And so if your room doesn't have audio treatment, this is going to help you a lot. It gets rid of that echo sound, makes you sound a little a lot tighter like you're recording in a studio. Then I have a few other things added here. I have uh, a, a, actually an Omni channel from Sheps. And what this is, is it's sort of a full professional audio channel. You don't have to go this complicated and I'm going to show you exactly what that looks like. But really the sky's the limit again with this. And beyond that, I also have a de to control some sibilance. I've added what's called a vocal rider, which keeps my audio level even. So whether I talk quietly or very loudly, it will adjust the audio level automatically. And finally, I put a limiter just to make sure that if I scream really loud, it's not going to clip. Now that I've given you the oversee of what I have here, let's set it up from scratch. So as you see, I've removed everything from the rack here. It's empty. And of course, I'm going to sound a lot different now because I don't have that audio chain processing my voice anymore. So the first thing I like to do is get rid of um, any noise in the room. Now, I have a studio space with, uh, with acoustic treatment in that and my PC is located outside of the room. So I have minimal noise here, but you may have a PC fan or other things happening. And so a great option is to use something here to get rid of that noise. And a Clarity VX is a great option for that. I'm just gonna pull that up here. I've gone to noise reduction and this is a Waves plugin. And you'll see that it opens up here 
This has a few options in terms of the type of neural network it uses. I'm gonna use the uh, broad eco, so the processor efficient version. And all you really do is just turn this up until you're satisfied that the noise level has uh, decreased, that you have kind of a decent amount of silence in the room. You're not getting you know loud AC noise, that type of thing. The next thing uh, you may have in your space is uh, echo, reverberation in the room. And so there's a brand new plugin called Clarity VXD Reverb. And as you see, it looks very similar to the noise removal one. And here again, my preference is using the Dialog 2 setting. And you would just turn this up until you're satisfied that the amount of reverberation in the room echo is uh, within what you consider to sound good. So it's not overly bothersome. You don't have to make it sound fully dry and sterile, but uh, I'm gonna leave mine set about here. Once I've cleaned the sound up where I have kind of the noise and reverberation where I want them, the next thing is to actually add some character to the voice. And here's where there's a variety of things you can do, um, either very simple or more complicated. One that um, is a pretty nice one to look at is actually this uh, Greg Wells Voice Centric. This is a very simple plugin to use and uh, it has a few, a few options here. Uh, including some presets and to get started there's this one from Mike Russell here uh, Mike podcast voice and you see already that starts thickening up my voice it starts adding a little more character to it you can adjust the intensity here and do different things with it but the uh, precept as it is uh, you know preset is, is pretty good where it starts and so again this is sort of a basic way to do it you absolutely don't have to use uh, anything this simple you can use a full channel strip if you want uh, as I'd shown earlier, I was using the Shep's Omni channel, and uh, that particular one has a whole lot of options. You know, here I can add in some saturation, um, and I can go ahead and use some EQ. I can, you know, boost a little bit in the high frequencies to get a little more clarity. I can go ahead and bring the uh, lower frequencies up a bit to kind of thicken up that low end, a little more mid as well here, uh, kind of in the around 3, 4K range. And again, I'm not really spending a lot of time in this. If you want to get into advanced audio settings, you can use a plugin like this and get a whole lot of detail with it. Otherwise, like I say, something something really simple like the um, like the Greg Wells Voice Centric from Waves is a great option. And um, once I have this in place, a couple other things, a little bit of sibilance. My voice tends to have uh, some pretty sharp S's and uh, you can deal with that here as well this is kind of an optional thing depending on your voice and how it comes across but you see this um sibilance plugin um has at the top these little down arrows and all it is when i have an s you'll see it compresses the sibilance and it's just a matter of turning this uh the strength you want to have if you turn in a downward direction you're going to get more sibilance reduction i think um oh let's see see setting setting yeah, I'll set mine about here for now. We'll just try it try it at that point. And uh, the last thing I like to add in the chain is a limiter because I don't want to go over top and clip. Uh, but before I do that, I'm going to add a, a plugin that's called Vocal Rider. And this is a really cool uh, plugin because what it does is if your vocals get too loud, it brings them down. And if they get too soft, it brings them back up. So it really evens out your vocals. And you can set the level to where you like. I like to typically put this around 16. This can be set um, to a level that's going to be for whatever service you're uploading your content to. But 16 is a good benchmark. You'll see here it's pushing the level up when I, when I speak here. But if I get really loud, it'll start to push it down. And that's what's really cool about this. Now, one of the things that you can do if, if the level's a little bit on the low side is you can bring that up here in the gain as well. You can actually add some gain uh, initially coming in, as I mentioned. But uh, here I'm getting, you know, I'm getting some good level here. It's boosting things up a bit. But if I speak really loudly, it'll start to drive it down. So that's a good one. And like I say, finally, I'm going to add a limiter. You can do that here or you can also do that in... Uh, just in the OBS rack as well with the built-in limiter, it'll work fine. I'm just going to pull the limiter up here and I'm going to say I don't want my level going anywhere over minus three here. And that way, even if I'm very loud, there's no way things can clip in OBS and distort. 
And so that's kind of a basic chain for vocals. Uh, I used all Wave plugins here, but you don't have to only use Wave plugins. This supports actually anyone's plugins. And so to add any manufacturer's plugin, really it's the same process. You just go down and you'll see that you have VST3 and there you'll have all of your plugins listed by manufacturer. So again, whatever you have installed, you can go ahead and put that in here in the rack and that uh, makes it really nice. You get full access to all your modern plugins. Now, uh, some of you also may want to do something like singing through, uh, through OBS. And so things like auto-tune are an option there as well. Yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and set this to sort of a more uh, slower speed here. And uh, I never thought I'd be singing in OBS Studio, but here I am with auto-tune. <laughs> so, uh, you know, it gives you an idea anyways that you can get um, a, a lot of flexibility out of this. Really, as I said earlier, the sky's the limit with your vocal chain using the uh, studio rack. And so the takeaway is that you don't have to have all that expensive rack gear behind me to get great sound in OBS Studio. And don't limit yourself to the built-in audio options either. With the Wave Studio Rack plugin for OBS, it allows you to use all the modern VST3 plugins to create some great audio chains for voiceover, vocals, music, game audio, really any audio running through OBS, you can make a rack for it. You can have more than one at a time. So get some great sound, experiment with different plugins. I'll have links below in the description for all the plugins I featured in the video today and also for Studio Rack. Now those are affiliate links. I'll get a small commission if you purchase something with it. That just helps me keep the channel going, create more content like this. Doesn't affect your price, of course, at all. And if you're looking for other ways to level up the quality of your OBS audio, check out one of the videos on the screen. As always, I appreciate you joining me. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you next time.